Hey everyone, welcome to Traders Point Kids Online. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. We're so glad you could join us today. We're in the series called Right On Time. I'm so excited. Are you? Yes! Great! Check it out. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Well, hello boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk! Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me.
You sounded terrific. And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> Well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a knight, a knight, and a crown. Then we have a knight and a knight. What comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? A crown. A crown, you're right. Hmm, I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea! Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo! Oh, what feathering fun! <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to a castle. Don't forget your royal robe. And make sure you grab your shield. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Greetings and welcome to my castle. My herald just informed me that you are searching for a royal crown. I am pleased to inform you that you have surely come to the right place. I would be honored to present a crown to you. But before you go, would you have time for a story? Magnificent! To make sure you hear all of the story, you must click on your royal listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click. 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 Wonderful! Now it's time to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You look royally ready. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. And one of my favorite people to read about is a man named Joseph. Let me hear all of you shout, Joseph! Joseph! Good job! Now, Joseph did not have an easy life. As a boy, his brothers were not kind to him. They didn't just hurt him or call him names, but they sold him as a slave. While Joseph was a slave in Egypt, someone told a lie about him, and he was put into jail. Does this sound like royal fun to you? No! Indeed not! But do you know what? Even though all of these bad things happened to him, God helped Joseph love others. God allowed Joseph to understand dreams that other people had. Once, when the king of Egypt had a strange dream, Joseph was called to help him. You see, Joseph could have been mean and mad because he had been stuck in jail for a long time. But Joseph chose to show love to the king. Joseph told him that his dream meant that in seven years, no more food would grow. He told the king to save all the food they possibly could so that when there was no food growing, everyone in Egypt would still have plenty to eat. Well, the king thought this was a royal idea. He knew that God was with Joseph, so he put Joseph in charge of saving all the grain and getting ready for the seven years without food. Let's all cheer for Joseph. Wonderful. 
So Joseph and his men worked hard over the next seven years. They built large barns and stored as much grain as possible. And for seven years, everyone had enough food. But then, just as God had told the king in his dream, the food stopped growing. Joseph's family did not live in Egypt. They were hungry and they needed food. So his brothers made their way to Egypt to ask for grain. It had been a long time since the brothers had seen Joseph and they did not know who he was. But Joseph knew who they were. He could have been mean to them since they were so unkind to him long ago. Instead, Joseph showed love to his brothers. He gave them plenty of grain to take home and he even threw a huge feast just for them. Friends, we can learn so much from Joseph. Joseph chose to love others even when it was hard and not so easy. God wants us to love others all the time too. Let me hear you say this after me in your most royal voices. Love. Love. Others. Others. You sounded fabulous. Thanks for taking the time to hear my story. And I almost forgot, here's a special royal crown just for you. Farewell, friends. I hope you come back and visit again. Tickety talk. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick tock goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah, yes. We learned to love others. Everyone, say this after me. Love. Love. Others. Others. That's it. Oh, and look. Here's someone we can help. This is Scout. Scout and his cousin are playing knights and dragons when his cousin's shirt tears. Can Scout show love to his cousin by sharing one of his shirts with her? Yes! You got it! It's time for us to help Scout so that his cousin has a new shirt to wear. Let's help Scout by telling him what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Love. Love. Others. Others. Well, tickety talk. We were right on time to help Scout. He heard what we said, and now he's having fun playing with his cousin again. You and I can have fun when we love others, too. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking. So let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together. We've got time to travel. We're gonna love everybody And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do, do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God And do what's right
got time to travel We're gonna do what's right We're gonna love everybody And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love Feathering fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. Cuckoo! That was fantastic! And kids, the fun isn't over yet. Families, we've provided you with something called a parent guide. You can find it at tpcc.org forward slash kids hyphen messages. First, click on today's message, then over on the right side of the page, there's a box that says, engage with the message. There, you will find a link to follow so that your family can connect and continue the discussion to grow in God's word together. We hope to see you next week. Bye. <laughs>